My name is Michelle Galbraith and I've been fostering for almost 19 years. I have three children and when we started fostering they were newborn, two and four and yeah they're now all adults. We were with an agent, a different independent agency. We moved to Blue Sky roughly eight or nine years ago. We came to Blue Sky because we were looking for an agency that would take better care of our own children. And we, we fostered a family that our children are so important to us that we needed an agency that would meet their needs as well as the looked after children that we care for. So I started fostering with my first husband and I met my current husband when we'd been split up for almost a year. And my husband now was the first carer in his family and I was the first carer in my family. So we were both totally committed to foster care. And then we kind of got together. I started off my professional career as a childminder and I became a nursery worker and then we owned a nursery for a short time. I then became a teacher and I started teaching health and social care and child development. And I realised, probably around 20 years ago, I realised that I had something to offer children at home. Um, we'd had our children, the, the youngest was very, very, very young. And yeah, we just decided that fostering was the next step, really, the next thing to do. My first placement as a foster carer was a young lady um, who came from some distance away and she refused to come, so I had to go and pick her up. And I will never forget the day that I picked her up. She was um, on the streets. She, she wasn't staying where she should have been staying at the time. And I managed to persuade her to get in the car. And um, yeah, the rest is history. And she's now, she's doing so well. She's a mum herself. And yeah, they're still together as a family, which is what we strive for. Yeah, it's lovely. Well, our fostering at the moment is quite complicated. We have one young lady who is on a TLC programme and she is nine years old. It was her birthday a couple of, years, a couple of days ago. Um, so that was lovely. And we also have a baby who's almost one that we've had since he was 10 days old. So the reason why our young lady's on a TLC package is because her trauma is so great. It makes her behaviours quite interesting at times. And she needs somebody that can care for her therapeutically. The TLC is therapeutic led care and it means that we have a skill set that other parents might not have. So we deal with trauma first and we are very nurturing but there are boundaries and she knows where she stands all the time and we put different things into place to help her to live successfully in a family and have her needs met which isn't always easy. Um, the difference between the, the fostering package that she might have been on before, which is mainstream, is that mainstream children come in and they don't work with a one-to-one, -one, for example. Um, our little girl will go out once every two weeks with a professional um, person from Blue Sky who will talk to her and help us with any specific challenges or any learning that she needs that's above and beyond what a child who is neurotypical in a normal family would need. Um, so mainstream doesn't have that and also I go to a clinical practitioner group every two weeks and we talk about um, topics that help our children like attachment, challenging behaviour, we might talk about our children's specific needs that week and we can learn from each other and we can pick up on um, different challenges that we've had in the past and maybe help each other out that way as well. And then every other week, I have a one-to-one -one with our clinical practitioner, um, which is part of the TLC programme. And I can then talk about our little girl's needs in more detail um, and share things that maybe other people shouldn't really know um, and get help in that way. So that's how it's different. Mainstream, you, you don't have any of those extra things. The support that Blue Sky offers is really quite amazing. It's one of the reasons we moved to Blue Sky. When you're fostering, your family needs to be supported as well as the children that you're looking after. Um, the Hampshire team, which is who I foster for, has had a lot of changes quite recently. Um, but they always seem to pull it out of the bag and come back together. And it just, it just works. It's really important to us that Blue Sky supports our whole family. And they do this by, I mean, even they ask about them. You know, they ask about my children before they ask about our looked after children. Well, I have supervision every every month 
And the first set of questions is always, how are you? How's Alistair? How are your own children? And what are they doing? And they listen and they'll ask questions about things that we said last time. So they're remembering and, and really taking an interest. There are um, birth children groups that, that Blue Sky have run um, where they can go and be with other biological children of foster carers. And we have an amazing festival every year, which is just awesome. Um, it was so good this year. My son, who's 18, loves skateboarding. And he took our little girl um, on the skateboarding ramp at the festival. And they just spent the whole day together. Um, Harry loves being a big brother. And he, because he's the youngest of my children, he loves being a big brother. So that's great. So getting time to spend together um, where people understand behaviours and that kind of stuff is really important. Um, they do the Duke of Edinburgh Award and my son was the first person to do, the first biological person to do the Duke of Edinburgh Award with Blue Skies, so that was really good. To be a foster carer you need some resilience. You need to be interested in working with other professionals. As a foster carer you have a professional responsibility to be part of a team. You can't be precious because there's lots to learn as a foster carer. But I've learned almost everything I know about looking after children since being a foster carer. So you need to be willing to listen and willing to learn. And you need to be happy getting it wrong, we all do. Um, we all make so many mistakes. One of the most important things actually as a foster carer is to have respect for a child's biological family. It's really hard to begin with because of what happens for children to come into foster care, but they will always be their first family and you need to respect that. And you need to encourage your children to, you need to be able to encourage your children to think about their first family positively. The reason I chose to be a foster carer and would encourage other people that believe they can foster to think about it is because of the rewards you see children come to you who have no friends, might never have been on a sleepover, have never been invited to a birthday party, um, don't have all the clothes they need or what have you. And then, you know, a year or two years later, you see the child that's top of everyone's birthday party list and being invited on sleepovers and proud of themselves because they've got there. You know, fostering is incredibly hard. It's heartbreaking but it's so rewarding. You're giving something that every child needs and every child has a right to, lots of children don't have, and you can give them that.